Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. Today, you'll learn how to host a website on GitHub for free. I'm using GitHub pages to host this HTML template site. I'll show you exactly how I did it. Even using my own custom domain, this is possible on GitHub for free. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. For this tutorial, you'll need a GitHub account. You can get one from github.com. Head over there and sign up if you haven't already. After signing up and logging in, we are in our dashboard. We can create a repository or you can do this through your menu here and your repositories are there. And let's create a new one. Now we just give this a name. I'm gonna call it website demo here. We want to choose public here and then create. Now we can upload our files. One way of doing that is just uploading it directly through the browser here. So we can just drag them onto our repository. So for this demo, I've already got a simple HTML template website on my computer already. I'm gonna highlight those in the folder that I've got them and just drag them in here and they are gonna upload. So we just wait for this to upload. If you're curious about the template I'm using here, it's called Spectral. I got that for free at html5up.net. Now there's lots of places to get free template websites. Uh, this is one of them. Another good one is templatesjungle.com and there's another repo on GitHub called TechNext GitHub IO 100 template bundle. I'll put links in the description for all of these. So there's lots of ways you can build a free website like this. So my files are finished uploading here. Now you can do up to a hundred files using the browser. Otherwise you use the GitHub desktop. It's probably the easiest way of doing it for more than 100 files. You can get that desktop.github.com. Next step after uploading, you wanna scroll down here and commit the changes. Go ahead and click that one. This does take a few minutes. After that is all done, we're gonna to head to settings and under pages here. And here under source, let's use GitHub actions. And we're creating a static HTML website. So this is the workflow we're gonna use. Click configure there. We can leave this as default. Everything we are publishing is under the main branch. So we can just leave that as it is and commit the changes there. Go ahead, click commit. And here we can check the progress of our action. If we check our actions tab here, you can see this is deploying the static content. So we just have to wait a few seconds for this one to finish. In this case, it just took a few seconds, 21 seconds and we're all done. And if we head back to settings and under pages again, we can see our address, our website is live here. So there we go. So this looks all good. Our website is up and running here at the GitHub address. Now, if we wanna use a custom domain, I'll show you how to do that. Under settings and pages, you'll find custom domain here. So I'll be using my domain idea spot site for this demonstration here. You can learn about configuring the custom domains through the link there. So if we open that up and go to managing a custom domain, the most important part are the IP addresses that we need to forward our domain to. So we'll need to go to our domains DNS manager and point these four IP addresses using a records. I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'll grab the first one there, copy it. And I bought my domain from Namecheap. It's a nice cheap way of getting your domain registered. So here is Ideaspot site and your DNS manager in the case of Namecheap is under advanced DNS here. We're gonna add those A records here. So paste in that IP address here. We're gonna use at there for the root and click the tick there. So I'll just repeat this process for the other three IP addresses here. So I'll go ahead and skip ahead and do that. So that's all done. I've got the four GitHub addresses on here. The other thing that's worth doing is adding a C name or www as well. We're gonna point that to the domain name there, Ideaspot site in my case. Let's add that one as well. There we go. Whenever you change DNS records, it can take some time for them to start working. You can check the progress over at dnschecker.org. Just put in your domain name there, check the A record and then hit search and just see if it's actually hitting these new IP addresses. In this case, I've been waiting a bit over half an hour, so it's already working, but if it's not working perfectly yet, just wait about, about 30 minutes usually, and that should be fine. So our domain should be ready. So back under settings and pages, we can put Ideaspot site in here and save that in, and this should work okay. So after a few moments, you should get that DNS check successful, and this should be all good now. Also, just make sure that Enforce HTTPS is ticked there as well to get that extra layer of security on your website. But from here, it should actually update. You've got your custom domain now here. Your site is live at your custom domain. If we click that, we can see our site is working here on our custom domain. So we've got free hosting with our own custom domain. 
So that is how to host a website on GitHub for free with a custom domain. So this is all possible for free. This was with an HTML template. Let me know if you'd like a bit more detail on how to customize your HTML template, because that's fairly easy. I could do that as a tutorial. Also, let me know if you'd like to show uh, how to do this with WordPress, because you can use Simply Static, convert a WordPress site to static, and then host it on GitHub. You will need to use that desktop application to upload the files, because there's much more than 100 files when you're using WordPress. Also, um, for those of you who missed the last tutorial, Cloudflare Pages is another very simple option for hosting static pages. Um, I've done a previous tutorial. I'll link that on the end screen here, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.